I'm from Angola, um, which is in West Africa. And I came here for a scholarship program. So it's the government that in my country that um, has this program. Um, they give me the opportunity to go abroad and choose the university and the city that I wanted to study. But I didn't actually choose the major, they choose it for me. And I chose DU because I compare the programs and I like this program better. I think it's more flexible than the others. I would say that I'm happy because what I wanted to do initially was computer science, which I like programming a lot. And I think that having mechatronic system, I also have this in my major. So it is also good for me. I, I'm happy with this. So I was born and raised out here. I actually wanted to be an actor. Big career change kind of path on that. But um, I noticed that I really wanted to make an impact on my community. I grew up in a very low income neighborhood and I realized that it was highly unlikely that I can create kind of any impact on my community as an actor. I was good at math, I was good at science, and so I wanted to kind of impart more change. My major is um, Mechatronic Systems Engineer, which it's actually electric engineer with a academic concentration in Mechatronic Systems. It's a little bit tough at the beginning because you have a lot of different fields that you need to know from electronics, programming, the math, so it's a little bit frustrating. Uh, but over the time, it's, it's pretty cool because you start seeing things uh, getting together. We have a combination of the three main areas of engineering, which is electrical, mechanical, and computer. So um, just saying mechatronic system, actually it's a little bit different because here at the U we don't have like a major for mechatronic system. It's electrical that they change a little bit the program to fit uh, mechatronic system engineering. From the very first quarter that the students have started here, they're going to get exposed uh, in, into in, introduction to mechatronic systems, which is a fully hands-on project-based learning class. And then we have a sequence uh, going for a full year. The students are going to learn a lot about what is the practical side of engineering and how all the theory that they're going to learn ties into practice. We, of course, continue that in junior and senior years with integration and senior design. So um, integration was, um, it was hard for some students because it was the first time that you had um, really, really hands-on um, teamwork. We had um, a task to do a robot, to simulate a robot that it's going to Mars. We have different students from many different majors working together in a group or a team. So in, in this class, I, it was the moment when I realized, okay, this is what I learned and this is what, what they learned. And now we came together to show like the different things that we learned from our majors. But I think it was the best experience because um, most of the times we have lectures and then we go to the lab, but we sometimes it's not that helpful understanding how in real life are we gonna apply these concepts. As we keep moving in the curriculum, uh, the theoretical component should be more heavy uh, and students should be able to start by themselves um, doing the hands-on instead of being in lab. From integration we worked with our professors. Our professors were our customers but this time we are working with an actual company. I'm working with um, semi-automation of tissue processing. So basically what we are doing is we are helping our uh, the company which is our source so we are helping them with um, one of their processes. So it's basically simulating like a washing machine but for um, bone powder. At the beginning it was very hard because I didn't know how to address um, some issues to them because they didn't understand elect electric engineers. So I had to learn how to communicate with a company, how to present like documents, properly documents to them so they can understand what I'm doing. I'm working with Boom Supersonic, which is a, they're going to create the first supersonic jet since the Concorde. But essentially, it's a uh, sound canceling system for aircraft. It's so wild and there's a, there's a lot of math and science into it, but it's a challenge, but every day you realize like it's possible. It's possible. You have to think and you have to keep changing things. We've had to wipe the slide, uh, slate multiple times, but it's that challenge that keeps you wanting to do the project. You know, like we can figure this out, we can do it. And so it's, it's been a blast. It's really good. You can um, really advance yourself, advance your knowledge, and not just professionally, but also personally. That's what I like about this.
if you don't have passion, it's going to be painful. <laughs> so it's pretty much if they like what they're doing, even if they fail, even if things don't work, at the end of the day, it's like, do you like it? Can you leave it for a week or two and then you come back and you can find that energy and motivation? If yes, then it's the way to go. Because saturation will happen. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. Eventually you saturate. It's to finding that balance that they need to understand if they're willing to do that. It's really allowed me to kind of see where everything comes together. And if you look at most systems and uh, kind of projects today, they're a combination of all three. Your car, for example, is a mechatronic system. It's a mechanical, computer, and electrical system. And so I really feel like it's powerful to provide this degree when that's what the future is, mechatronic systems. We have used electricity since the times of Edison, 1881. And we cannot live without electricity. We cannot even imagine that. So all of these changes, these are uh, happening because of ECE. Don't be afraid to try DU if you are trying to, um, if you are going for engineering, I think it's a great school for engineering. I wasn't a perfect student when I came in. I struggled, especially with a lot of the core classes. Engineering is really difficult, and I thought, at least, it was too much for me. But once I realized that this was my choice, this was something that I was choosing to do, it changed. One of the most important things that engineering has taught me is that Hard work is the only way you can create change.